Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can clean a kettle for uh, next to nothing, actually pennies. If you notice uh, this kettle here, this is the one that I uh, repaired the little micro switch on and it's still working fine. Uh, I've had this kettle for quite some time and it gets quite a bit of use. And uh, our water is really, really good, but we do tend to get a little bit of, uh, as you can see down at the bottom, a little bit of browning, which I suspect is a bit of dirt, but I'm not exactly sure. So what I do to clean the kettle, instead of buying uh, stuff uh, from the store, or um, using lots of elbow grease, I use this uh, ready, ready and available product. It's uh, vinegar. Basically what I do is I uh, just take about a cup full of vinegar, pour it in, and I'm going to add a little bit of water. And basically you just want enough in the kettle so that it's above the minimum, a little bit above the minimum. And as you can see the water level here, it's uh, the minimum will be down about here, so it's just a little bit above the minimum. Now, I turn on the kettle, but the trick is, this kettle will trip out uh, once it gets up to temperature. The trick is, when this boils, before it boils, or as it boils, is you keep the lid open. And then you can let the kettle boil indefinitely. But I would suggest you would uh, monitor it when it starts to boil, and you'll see it will start to froth, and it'll, it'll froth pretty well all the way up to the top here. And it actually does a self cleaning inside. Do that for about maybe five minutes. Like I say, monitoring it. Don't walk away, of course, because it's uh, extremely hot. You wouldn't want anybody to stumble in on it and, and get burnt or scald. So you let it probably boil for maybe two to five minutes, depending on how grummy your kettle is. And uh, it should be cleaned by then. I'll be back in one moment when, uh, when this kettle starts to rip and roar. Okay, now you can see the uh, kettle is at the boiling point, and I have the lid open here. And as you can see, uh, I'm not exactly sure if you can see this or not, but uh, all up along here, there's frothing. It's actually the water and the vinegar is frothing, and it's... You can probably see it through the top here, if I let you sneak in there. You see how it's frothing? So that's doing a soft clean. Now, I would suspect, now I don't know, this just started the boil. And I got the lid off, so it's going to continue to boil until I shut the lid in. It will uh, come up the temperature and shut off automatically. Um, I would suspect maybe only a minute might be good enough with the vinegar and a the cup of vinegar and maybe a half cup of water, just to get it up above your minimum there. Now, you look in there now, and she's really, she's really frothing good and looks really clear for some reason. Couldn't have been too dirty. But uh, the camera might pick up something different. So uh, so what you basically do is you do this for a minute to five minutes. I don't know. You don't want it to boil dry, of course. Um, and then once that's done, then you, uh, you rinse out the kettle with cold water three or four times. Fill it right up and rinse it out. And then I bring it to a boil. Bring a, a full pot to, a, say, a full kettle to a boil. So you have to hear. Bring it to a boil and uh, maybe to kick it down a few times. Uh, to get rid of the vinegar uh, taste, the, the residue of vinegar, and then your kettle should be good to go uh, for a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you need in the days to come. So I'm going to uh, shut it off now. This has only been on about a minute since it came to a boil. And uh, pour this out. Very clean. You can see a little bit of uh, corrosion, I think, is uh, on the on the metal part of the kettle. And if I would let that go longer, it would have probably even cleaned that up. But look at the side of the kettle. The inside of the kettle is absolutely white there now. I think you can see that. Anyway, that's how you can clean your kettle for pennies. Hope that was informative uh, to you people. Thanks for watching. Drop by again and watch another video when you get a chance. Have a good day.